This banksia pod, shown here by the Long Island Woodturners Association, is an example of a trypophobia trigger. Trypophobia, of course, is the fear of irregular holes, and it's become quite popular in the last few years. This fractal video, which I'll put a link to below, is a great example of something that would trigger a trypophobia reaction. Look at all those creepy little holes. Many trypophobia videos particularly contain lotus pods, like these seen here used ornamentally by my wife for decoration around the house. And it's amazing, if you were to photoshop them onto somebody's skin, the internet lights up with complaints about how gross it is. But I want to note a problem that I'm seeing when people discuss trypophobia. They seem to think that everything gross is trypophobia. A pimple on its own? I don't know that that's trypophobia. Trypophobia is a fear of holes. This isn't a hole. This is maybe an ingrown hair, maybe a pimple, but it's not really trypophobic, is it? So let's go ahead and take a look at the three most popular images currently on Reddit's trypophobia forum. First, here's an image of a young lady from Bangladesh with smallpox. Sure, it's gross, but are those holes? I believe this is a blue ringed octopus. Sure, it's similar, but not quite holes. The next most popular image on Reddit's form is this soap. I don't even know why this is gross. Have you seen the soap in my bathroom? Again, here's another smallpox image. Sure, it's gross, but does it qualify as a fear of holes? And sure, popping zits is fun, but does it really qualify as trypophobia? The fear of holes at its core, you have to have holes, not just gross stuff. So I'm going to ask you to leave your comments. Tell us what qualifies as a trypophobia image. All right, so I have one more question for you. This is for the hardcore world's greatest medical fans. I've had people tell me that my voice sounds anything from Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs to the kid from Bob's Burgers. Leave me a comment below with what you think my voice sounds like. Hey folks, to get rid of blackheads and blemishes the right way, get a Comedone Extractor Kit. This one here is the best we could find. It has a high quality to price ratio. It's got solid steel instruments, a compact case for traveling, and a good variety of tools for all your needs, including a lancet for whiteheads. Using an extractor like this is the easiest and safest method as it reduces the chances of scarring and secondary infection. Use the Amazon link below to get a kit of your very own.